Aloha, you're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Senior Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here in San Francisco at the Moscone Center for VMworld 2014. It's been a great show so far this week. And earlier this week, actually today, we announced some integration with NSX and I thought I'd get Senior Technical Marketing Manager Nathan Pierce Hey, thanks for joining me again, Nathan. Always a pleasure. To talk a little bit about NSX. So first, really, what is NSX? What is it all about? So NSX is network virtualization. So creating an abstraction, just like VMware's done in, in a brilliant way for server virtualization, they can now do that for the network as well. So that enables you know, faster workload, creation, uh, manipulation, um, it's just freeing up the network. And does that fall under this the, the overall SDN banner, if you will? It, it is a type of software-defined, VMware, VMware call it software-defined data center. It's bigger than just the network, it's the integration of more parts, numerous elements, uh, to create and solve a bigger problem. And so what is that bigger problem, really? So the, the issue for the whole becoming more programmatic in the data center is about solving two key things really, and, and they are time to value and time to change. So with time to value, what we mean by that is when, when a new service has been created, a new application maybe, it could, be, it could have been bought or it could have been in-house developed, getting that out to its intended consumers, whether they are customers or even employees, there's a huge gap. Our customers tell us this issue of the network is in the way. We keep hearing this from app architects and DevOps people. So virtualization and programmability, that's how we solve that. So that's the first part, the time to market or time to value um, of, of a new asset or resource. And the time to change, but once a service is rolled out, it really needs to stay like that for eternity. We could have unforeseen growth, it could be just planned growth over time that we need to make changes, maybe an upgrade, we want to reroute the way that things happen, or it could be an unplanned circumstance, like an attack. How quick can we move bad traffic away from good traffic, etc. So time to market and time to change, uh, uh, they're both being held to ransom by this issue where the network is in the way. And so usually in, in the traditional data center model, a lot of organizations have to over provision to make sure that stuff is ready to go when, when time hits. And this is really along the lines of the just-in-time provisioning, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, we no longer have to spec for the worst case scenario when we're building our data center if we can be more reactive. Instead, what we can do is spec for actually the mean requirement because with a programmatic network, with a combination of both F5 and VMware working together, our time to affect change is so much quicker. So, you know, VM, VMware has this solution and we're, we work together with that solution. Can you tell us a little bit about the integration and the benefit it provides? Yeah, sure. So, VMware solution, NSX Manager, that, that handles services like connectivity, um, it, can, it can create the VLANing, the, the network level firewall services, even some load balancing. Um, and then F5, of course, we have our software-defined application services. And application services are, are key to rolling out an, an application because we're still going to have our app security to protect against data theft. We need context to support the different types of devices that are out there. You know, we need identity and access control. There's all these other elements that we bring to networking. So by joining the management, of F5 and NSX Manager, so our big IQ integrating with VMware's NSX Manager, we can, from one interface, roll out the lower level connectivity services, VLANing, firewalling, et cetera, and all of the application services in one hit. So we're de-risking this new paradigm of programmability and, and fast time to change um, by having the two together. Less point solutions, less chances to go wrong, a much faster time to react. And that's really, you said de-risking, I love that. I but think that, I made that word up. Is that a word? I've always wondered if de-risking is actually a word. We're going to use it as a word for this, for this interview, that's for sure. But de-risking, and a lot of this, a lot of this you know, software-defined stuff and virtualization is really about businesses trying to reduce their exposure to risk, right? Yeah, we keep having our customers tell us, let's, let's go back, a great example, iApps. We used to, we've created all these amazing deployment guides. We've worked with our alliance partners like VMware, Microsoft, Oracle, all of these guys created these incredible detailed deployment documents. Some of them are like 160 pages long. The problems moved from not the research and all that work we did together with our partners, the problem moved then to the keyboard. Yeah. What if I go to lunch and come back and 
miss a command or I start on the wrong page or, or just a typo. So I have got created to provide an abstraction from all that and simplicity. So we're giving all the functionality but just abstracted down to a few questions. Like, is this exchange 2007? Yes. We already know a lot about that. Let's not bother. So doing this integration, you know, exposing simplicity, taking away this issue of lots of point solutions and commands to type and touch, huge savings and there's that wonderful word again, de-risk. Cool. And so, I, and also you just created a, uh, we released a, a reference architecture around yeah. our solution with NSX, so how can people maybe check that one out? Yes, and I hear this reference architecture's amazing. Oh, is it? I wrote it. Um, no, the reference architecture, yeah, we worked with the B VMware team, we co-wrote it with VMware in fact, so it's been a really great project to work on those guys with. And it, basically we're just explaining what, what the elements of it all are, we're making it very simple to understand and adopt and making it um, you know, a simple process for an organization to realize this de-risking, there I go again, uh, solution that we've come together to create. Yeah, and that's kind of important with, with you know, this interoperability amongst various solutions within these software-defined data centers. You, you don't necessarily, that, that risk is having to worry about being an expert in all these different things, yeah. and this kind of removes, really, needing to be an expert. You can still produce you know, or, or deploy expert looking infrastructure on the back end without having to know all of the ins and outs of the solutions themselves. Yeah, precisely. I mean, we've got, you know, virtual machines are providing abstraction from, from physical hardware. We've got network virtualization and, and software defined data centers are creating abstraction you know, from the network and all those other complexities. But then the integration is what simplifies all of that abstraction. So yeah, they're all very important, equally important elements of getting this done properly. Well, I really appreciate your time here, Nathan. It's Thanks. always a great having you on camera. Always a pleasure to be here, Peter. And as we extract ourselves out of this video, for Nathan, I got Robert behind the lens. Thanks again, Robert. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.